Hey there, everybody. Let's go over the updates that I've done so far to the Chip Collective, as it's known now, and it will be known forever. Um, when I last did an update video, I was using, you know, Roselio uh, to synchronize a folder and everything, and I realized that that was going to be really stupid to do, so... I made a GitLab. I like GitLab better than GitHub from uh, what I've experienced so far. I, I tested a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, GitLab worked pretty well. Um, and it's a, it's a private repository on here for the project. And um, this is how we are going to um, have people edit their articles in here. So let's get off of here and into here. So, got here um, uh, one of the branches, the Netlify branch, which is basically the one that gets pushed straight to uh, our URL, the chipcollective.com. And um, let's go over uh, how I'm going to be um, editing uh, an article that I'm currently working on. So you get a little sneak peek at the same time. Um, first thing I'm going to do is start up the local server because that's in here. That's, you know, with, with the whole, uh, the whole thing there in the GitLab. So start up server. You can see that's the URL it's at. So let's go over here. There you go. So there's, uh, that going on. We got, um, let's see, let's look at this article that I'm currently working on that right now has its status to draft true, which is why you do not see it on here at all. Um, so let's, uh, let's see, the best way to do that would be, I guess, do that and uh, uh, blop it over there. And uh, let's make this false and put the date on it to uh, screw it that, that should work there you go so there's uh there's the article i'm working on on the thinkpad t40 an old laptop and uh this is the article so basically if you if you want to make an article uh let's go over that so you've been brought on as a new editor for our uh website let's say and um, what I'm going to do um, before, you know, I, well, as I get you on to, uh, you know, and I, uh, the GitLab and I invite you and everything, I, I would have already have made one of these files for you. So I'm going to go over how I would do that. So let's just copy, uh, paste. So we make a, uh, a copy of that and uh, let's call this person, uh, Test guy. So his name is Test Guy. And his name is Test Guy. I'm not going to change the picture or any of the other details for now. So Test Guy, he exists. And I would have also made a folder for you here called Test Guy. Test Guy. And uh, I'm going to copy over. Uh, Let's do first post, copy, and then I would put inside your directory here for your posts, uh, like a template, like uh, article name, date, all that crap, and then your name, which is test guy, and I would save that. So now we have your details about who you are, so you could have a, a little bio thing. And then you have your article here, which also has your byline. So that's set uh, and all that. So now you could edit that art, uh, this uh, markdown file, um, change, change the name of it, obviously. So, you know, the, it makes a little bit more sense uh, for what the content is. Uh, so the URL, because you can see the URL is, um, well, it's, 
ignore this first part. It's going to be uh, slash posts, uh, your name, and then the name of your file as the article. And then your article would be right here, which would be that that's how easy it is. Uh, it's going to be for people to put stuff on here. And then you would just, you know, um, you would just stage those changes, uh, commit them, and then synchronize it. And then it would show up on here and then um and then netlify basically does its own little magical business where it'll build the website and then it'll show up live on the website if when it builds i noticed that something was fucked up i'll more than likely take care of it and fix it for you so you don't have to worry about your markdown being perfect or it being perfect on the first time you know the first submission it's fine uh, i i accept that there, there might be a little bit of a learning curve to to the setup but i think that this works a whole lot better than um having the editing being th in the website uh which would mean i have to store credentials and all this other stuff i think i just want this to be minimal simple and I think that this is pretty easy for editors to get their, their articles up on our website. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.